become that person. Become that guy. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth The Holy Ghost today. is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstra. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. The world to come is your future. Tomorrow, what would that be? That's your future. How about three tomorrows from now? your future well there are systems and tools to get you there with the best results in John chapter 14 and verse 12 we see Jesus talking verily verily I say unto you he that believes on me the works that I do shall he do also and and greater works than these shall he do because I go to the Father because because he Jesus went to the Father and where is the Father the Father is in heaven and Jesus went to the Father and that's where he is right now but we also know that if Jesus went to the Father he would send another and that's over in verse 16 John chapter 14 verse 16 and says I will pray the Father and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever see Jesus went away and is with the father and would send the another comforter who would be with you for three days no forever say forever so how long is that that's a pretty long time that would be in this dispensation and the world that is to come and we know that the another is the holy ghost right if you look down at verse 26 it says that verse 26 but the comforter which is the Holy Ghost so he's another he's another person Jesus was a person he's gonna send another person to be with you and this other person is the Holy Ghost and he that other person the Holy Ghost will be with you forever now we also know that this happened we know that Jesus went up into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father and we know that he sent the Holy Ghost into the earth to be with us this happened it happened in the past tense which means our present reality is that Jesus is in heaven and the Holy Ghost is with us is this too difficult Jesus is not here but the Holy Ghost is here the another is here and Jesus said that when he would go away that we would do greater works than he did so greater works and yes many have argued that the greater works are this and the greater works are that many would say the greater works would be that people would get born again because that wasn't something that was happening in Jesus's ministry and they would say the greater works would be in greater uh, numbers because there would be more people doing them than just Jesus in one location and I'm not here to argue against that and that's not where I'm going today in this message we're not at the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation we are at the end of the Holy Ghost dispensation and the end game is different 
the Holy Ghost dispensation began on the day of Pentecost and now we are at the end of this dispensation and greater works in this time the end the end game are powers of the world to come Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 5 it says and have tasted the good word of God and I always say this tasted means what do you use to taste things with your tongue right you taste with your tongue the good word of God which means how would you taste the good word of God N no you're gonna say the good word of God you use your tongue to say words they have tasted or they have said the good word of God and the powers of the world to come when does this say we're doing this right now in our day especially this last day where we're beginning to look over into the world to come because you can understand that we're at this end part of this dispensation and we're looking over into the next dispensation which would be the world to come and there are powers that operate in that world to come that are splashing over into this one and we're beginning to taste it and see it and walk in it does this make sense we are looking over into the next age your future and these powers of the world to come are for a specific group of people and these are a new manifestation of the spirit something the church wasn't walking in before we can see here hebrews chapter 6 verse 1 therefore leaving the principles of the doctrine of christ let us go on so there's an us that goes on group of people and us and verse 3 and says and this we will do we as a group of people will do go on let us go on this we will do tasting of the good word of god and the powers of the world to come so this here becomes our stated and spoken goal to taste of the good word of god and the powers of the world to come are you hearing this become that person become that guy one who tastes of the good word of god and the powers of the world to come because it's the powers of the world to come that take you to your future well how do we know what that is that guy be that person how do we know what that is powers of the world to come are powers that power the world to come so whatever's in the world to come operating in the world to come those are the powers that you would taste and operate in those are the things that operate there and those are the things that you will begin operating in over here we see here in Acts chapter 2 and verse 16 Peter said but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel so the prophet Joel was speaking about that what that the Holy Ghost himself coming into the earth on the day of Pentecost right this applies to the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation Acts chapter 2 verse 4 it said and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak so this was the beginning not the end this was the beginning of people speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost that's how this dispensation began 
it's also how this dispensation will end people speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost in agreement with the good Word of God and the powers of the world to come we need to begin speaking in agreement with the powers of the world to come is this making sense so they began to speak in the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation but Joel also talked about the end results Joel chapter 2 and verse 5 it says a fire devours before them and behind them a flame burns the land is as the garden of eden before them so what's before these people a land that's as the garden of eden see the end game is different the land before us where and if it's before you where is it it's in front of you it's in your future you see you're moving into it say I'm moving into it this land that's as the Garden of Eden before them and you ask yourself what was the Garden of Eden like well it was pre sin pre sickness there was no sickness they had their youth renewed perpetually they lived in eternal youth renewal and they would have lived forever that's a power of the world to come as the garden of eden a power of the world to come we begin to walk in it and it takes us to the next dispensation and when god looked upon the garden and the people in the garden he said it was very good it wasn't very bad it was very good this is your future you are to taste of by speaking the good Word of God the very good Word of God and the powers of the world to come this is the world to come are you getting some of this and when are you supposed to do this now which takes us over into the next dispensation whatever you argued about the greater works at the beginning of the dispensation these are the end time greater works powers of the world to come and a new manifestation of the spirit I hope you're getting excited about it we taste and speak the good word of God and God's word spoken tasted continue on into the world that is to come the WTC when you taste the good word of God by speaking it it takes you over into the world that is to come and is a power of the world to come and thus there shall be a greater manifestation of the spirit in our day people tasting the good word of God and seeing the powers of the world to come there shall be a greater listen there shall be a greater manifestation of the spoken Word of God there shall be a greater manifestation of the spoken Word of God Jesus said greater works than these in our day we will have a greater manifestation of the spoken Word of God as long as those words line up with the world that is to come and the powers of the world to come let the spoken Word of God out your mouth change you let the spoken Word of God out your mouth change you into the thing said there's a system shift the world system is broken but the new the world that is to come system is not broken it's 
eternal you enter in by worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word specifically his word concerning the world to come I hope you're getting this that's the system worshiping the Holy Ghost because he will be with you forever and speaking in agreement with his word is speaking in agreement with his word concerning the world that is to come which of course would include many verses of scripture that have to do with youth renewal and prosperity and all things working together for good for you but that's the system worshiping the Holy Ghost and speaking in agreement with his word you enter a new reality and begin to live therein and if you learn to obtain it this way it will never be taken from you in fact we're just getting started the eternal word becomes alive upon your lips up till now it only had dormant potential until you spoke it Psalms 119 25 says quicken thou me according to thy word you will be quickened according to his word you will be made alive according to his word and Jesus said his word shall not pass away it abides eternally these are eternal powers so I begin speaking from the eternal source the eternal Word of God and speaking to eternity for myself I begin speaking from the eternal Word of God and speaking to eternity for myself that's my future and I always get a kick out of people when they say well well will we know one another when we get to heaven and I say will we know one another when we get to Detroit you're the one that's gonna be there belief is a strange and powerful thing it will transport you from one thing to the next from the old into the new a new reality awaits you a new future a new world to come that has powers of its very own it matters what you believe powers of the world to come require belief Jesus said you believe in God believe also in him I say you believe in Jesus believe also in this powers of the world to come are for you and belief in those powers will take you into your future into the world that is to come Holy Ghost I thank you for blessing these people and as they begin to speak in agreement with your word and those words that are powers of the world to come we are being transformed from the old into the new and the world shall know and be able to see that these people have been completely changed and are living in a different reality and we worship you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you you are God in the earth today you take me into the powers of the world to come and my finances increase exponentially and I worship you in Jesus name Amen. the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth